Hey folks, I love painting cute little animals and I particularly love painting cute little animals doing art crazy stuff. So my online friend Wheaton Chaff who sells adorable little curios, she posted this picture on her Instagram and she does all this fun like packaging materials and tells all these stories for natural museum curios and artifacts and like I mean, I want my mail game to be as on point as this person's mail game. But she took that cute picture of Enzo, her ferret, and I love ferrets. I love their personality. I love their cute little feet and they're just like their opinions and their intelligence. However, ferrets start smell. I did a test run with ferrets and I could not get behind them. And so when I get the chance to look at the cuteness of somebody else's ferrets, and draw them. I get really excited about it. So I had a really good time approaching this like it was a full-on digital illustration to just see and play with some of the concepts that I've been thinking about as a tattoo artist, but then applying that to using Procreate. So I'm doing all of this in Procreate, which allows me to do this cool time-lapse video. I'm super into that. I really I like time lapses. I like time lapses for the ways that they show us how things work and how experimental we can be and how playful art is. And again, that's another thing I love about ferrets. They are constantly ready to play. They're ready to go do stuff. They're ready to explode. They're ready to spin and jump and dance and create chaos and joy. And I love that. And so I got the, hey, watch your body parts, Cleo. She's helping me record right now. And I, so I got the recording part of the time lapse done, and then I was looking at it, and I'm like, I don't know, I think it needs some pizzazz. And so, I added a bunch more details to it. I didn't want to completely just mimic her version of Enzo being adorable, even though it was so freaking cute, and my goal was to mimic it, but then I just splattered things all around it, and was like, what would happen if a ferret was the one actually packaging your order? And I feel like this is the reality of what would happen. Chaos would reign, and there would be splurts of paint, and little footprints everywhere, and I just, I think that's the cutest. Okay. Thanks for watching this time lapse with me. This is Enzo. Be sure to follow Wheaton Chaff on Instagram.